So in this video, we're going to look at how we can split the middle term, which is this x, or this negative x rather, in order to factorise this quadratic. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for two numbers that multiply to give a and c. Now just a reminder that the a is 2, the number here, c is negative 15, the number here, the b is negative 1 here. So these are a, b and c. Now I want two numbers that multiply to give a, c. So a, c is negative 30. And they're going to multiply to give negative 30. They're going to add together to give negative 1. Now important to find these two numbers and these two numbers are negative 6 and 5 so you might need to take a couple of minutes to find those but those are the two numbers that I will need. Now these will split the middle term so what I mean by that is, is we're going to rewrite the quadratic with 2x squared but we're going to write minus 6x plus 5x. Now if you actually simplify that you will get back to where you start with a minus x. So this is what split in the middle term is. Now we're going to group them. So we're going to group these first two together and the second two together, and we're going to factorize those two. So what happens when we group them is we can see I've got a 2x and a 6x. So the common factor is 2x, and that leaves x minus 3 when I factorize that part. And here, if I group group in these, I've got 5x and minus 15, so I can see that 5 is the common factor, and it leaves x minus 3. Now these two brackets are exactly the same. So the final part is to factorise this part here by using this bracket. So take that out of both, because that's common to both parts of the grouping, and you leave 2x plus 5. Now, just an extension to that, does it matter which way you put these numbers into the equation? No, it doesn't. We could end up by going 2x plus 5, so it's just 2x squared rather, plus 5. And if we just change the grouping around, so it's the other way, minus 6x minus 15. We can see here that the common factor to both of these is just x. And it leaves me with 2x plus 5. Now, as we've already done the other one, we can see that that is already one of my brackets. And over here, well, let's take out, these are both negative, so let's take out negative 3 as a common factor. And it leaves me with 2x. Now, important here, this is going to be plus 5. But also, you can have a little bit of a cheat because you've already done this bracket with the plus 5. So you can just check that that should be plus 5. This gives me negative 15. And so this becomes 2x plus 5 is the common factor, just like we had from the first one, and then x minus 3. So it really doesn't make any difference which way you do the grouping. You will always end up with the same result.